Skin cancer is now the most common cancer in the United States. One in five Americans will develop skin cancer in their lifetime. But there's also, it's also one of the most curable types of cancer with early detection. Dermatologist Dr. Liz Callahan is here from Skin Smart Dermatologist. I have to admit, mostly when I see this lady, I go in and say, make me look younger, make me look younger. <laughs> and she always comes out with magic things in her bag. But this is much more serious in this. This is really about life and death when we talk about protection from skin cancer. So what can we do for early detection? Well, the most important thing is to look at your skin once a month, look for new growths, lesions you don't recall seeing, new spots. And um, it's important if you um, are concerned about something, go see your dermatologist, see your skincare uh, doctor, and uh, have things checked. It's such mm -hmm. an easy appointment. I can't emphasize enough how easy it is. Now, there are different types of skin cancer, right? There are different types. Um, the most common types are um, basal cell carcinoma, squamous cell carcinoma, and um, melanoma. Melanoma mm -hmm. is the most serious form of skin cancer, but luckily it's the most rare form. So most people are developing the other two most common kinds, the basal cell and the squamous cell. Over three million cases a year are diagnosed in the United States. Did I read that 10,000 people a year die from a melanoma? Yes, melanoma is one of the most deadly forms of, of skin cancer mm -hmm. and it's very serious. So, so you need to find out you've got that. So what are the signs? How do I know? Mm -hmm. So um, when you, um, there are great graphics available online at the American Academy of Dermatology. And what you want to look for is when you look at a spot, is asymmetry. Does one half equal the other? Um, border, are the borders irregular on the lesion? Color, is there a variety of colors in the lesions? Gray, black, white. Um, diameter, is the lesion growing bigger than a pencil eraser? And finally, I think the most important sign evolving is the lesion changing, is the spot getting more regular with time. How so, fast does all this yeah. happen? It can happen, it can actually happen very quickly. A lot of my patients tell me these changes come on very quickly. Sometimes it can be more slowly. It can be a mole you've had for years, always look the same. Then one month you look down, you notice that it's irregular, and that should draw some concern. So mm -hmm. if, the, like what you said, it was irregular. So if it's not symmetrical, that means that we should be concerned. Or if the color, what color should we be looking for? Um, variety of colors, but very dark, black, brown, and an irregularity to the color, an irregularity to the edges and the shape uh, growing in one direction. Direction, that sort of thing. Okay. Doctor, I have found that nothing can replace going to see a professional, though, because as a very freckly yeah. and moly person anyway, I can't yeah. keep track of them all. But yet, the professionals are, are literally taking notes from visit to visit about what mm -hmm. they see. It's amazing mm -hmm. the detail that a dermatologist yep. pays. And sometimes we take pictures. Um, and if we're, and this is the other important thing. Don't be scared of the visit. We're there to hopefully give you very good news. And uh, a biopsy, if you need a small biopsy, it's very superficial. It's very quick. It's very easy and nothing to be overly concerned about. What about preventing it? We can't stay out of the sun all the time here mm -hmm. in Florida. What can we do? So there's some things you can do. There's great sun protective clothing on the market now. Mm -hmm. um, that really works. It really works. Huh. You want to seek the shade from 10 to 3. You want to wear your cover up, protect yourself, and avoid uh, tanning beds. They're now a known carcinogen. We don't want to be in tanning beds anymore. Mm. And I'll, even if you have the darker skin, you still have to protect yourself, yep. right? I mean, we yeah, tend absolutely. to think that you even don't. darker skin, people should be mm -hmm. wearing uh, SPF 30 or higher. Okay. Everybody needs to protect. You know what I wonder? I wear makeup that has a sunscreen in it, and I wear a a moisturizer that has a sunscreen in it, should I still wear a sunscreen? It's a great question. Um, if you're, if this is the question you need to ask yourself, are you applying the makeup the way you would sunscreen? If the answer is no, if you're blending your makeup, you know how you blend mm -hmm, it, mm -hmm. you might not be getting the, the SPF that you want. So when you're going to be getting major sun exposure during the weekends, I advocate more for a true sunscreen, put it on mm -hmm. really thickly, mm -hmm. let it dry, mm -hmm. maybe even sprinkle some makeup on top of that after, uh, but at okay. least that's my put tip, powdered makeup, but put your sunscreen on first so you've got your shield, you're protected. Okay. Right. Now, May, May is screening month, and you're offering free screenings? Yeah, May is national, it's a national campaign, awareness for the melanoma, the most deadly oh. form of skin cancer, and we are offering free spot checks in wow. our office, uh, starting in April, because they do fill up into May, every Wednesday. Wednesday. Um, you don't have to take your clothes off or anything. Just bring your spots. We'll take a look <laughs> and you can contact our office for that. So oh, that Definitely sounds great. Both. And it could save your life. Yes, yeah. it could absolutely save your life. And you can go to sarasotadermatologist.com for more information to get your appointment. Sign up quick. There are going to be a lot of people in that line. Thank you so much. Oh, thank and you. This very is a great much. thing you're Pleasure. offering. And now we're going to see Sarasota Sailor Circus. We're going to have a performance coming up.